Today on Hands-On Photography, someone asked me about using their phone like a DSLR. Well, why would you do that? And would you, should you really do that? I, I have some thoughts. Y'all stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. This episode of Hands-On Photography is brought to you by 8 Sleep. Good sleep is the ultimate game changer and the pod cover is the ultimate sleep machine. Go to 8sleep.com slash twit to check out the pod cover and save $150 at checkout. 8 Sleep currently ships in the USA, Canada, the UK, and select countries in the EU and Australia. What's happening, everybody? I'm Matt Pruitt. Welcome to Hands On Photography here on Twit TV. I hope y'all are doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. Today, I am going to go through a bit of feedback, comment, question, if you will, from one of our loyal Hands On Photography listeners. And um, actually, they're they're even bigger and better than that. They are a loyal Club Twit member as well. So let's go ahead and get started with this week's episode. So inside of our Club Twit Discord, got a message from Christopher and it says, hey, Aunt Pruitt, you should review shift cam and moment lenses and compare them. And he gave me a couple of links there uh, to check out. And I got to tell you, um, well, let me just give you my two cents. We'll start with the moment side of things. OK, the moment lens uh, side of things. Moment lens are quite popular. And what are they? Well, they are a, a small photography company, content creator company, and they have little lenses that you can put onto your smartphone. And they have uh, telephoto lenses, they have macro lenses, uh, you know, just, just a varying range of focal lengths of different lenses that you put on, on your smartphone, and particularly the iPhone, because why? Apparently, moment says, you know what? Most people have iPhones. So that's what we're going to do. Now I, I say that with a little tongue in cheek, because even if you did not have an iPhone, they did make cases that you could put on your phone that allowed you to attach said lens to whatever phone that you had. Um, and it would work. Okay. Okay. So with that said, there was a whole lot of different lenses out there that you could attach to a smartphone and uh, some of them were pretty craptastic and you would know they were pretty craptastic because you would only pay $20 or less for those lenses. Okay. That's because the glass that they were using on those lenses were just, just not good at all. It was literally like plastic in most cases. So I never really recommended that. But once you got to the, lux the likes of moment and some of the other manufacturers out there, like I'm familiar with black eye lens, um, anybody that's charging a decent amount of money, for their glass tend to give you really, really, really good results. So I can't sit here and say doing a comparison and contrast with one brand versus another is going to really make much of a difference uh, because they all are going to look pretty doggone good, especially when you're comparing them to them being attached to a tiny, tiny, tiny smartphone image sensor. There's only so much you can see and so much difference you can see in comparison with the um, upper echelon lens attachments. So that out of the way, it made me think a little bit more about, you know, folks are starting or wanting to use their cameras as quote DSLRs, use their phone cameras as quote DSLRs. And I've always been a little bit uh, sort of 50 50 on that, because if you're going to do that, that tends to mean you're going to start attaching gear to it. You're going to start attaching lenses. You're going to start attaching handles and things of that nature. And that's fine. If that's how you want to roll, if it's a lighter carry for you, that's totally fine. We've seen the likes of Miss Annie Leibovitz doing same things with her phone when she was working with Google and the Pixel. She had a specialized case that she put on the phone and it had a nice handle to help keep her stable and so on and so forth, you know, because she's a professional photographer. But when I thought about that for the average person wanting to make their phone more of a DSLR, if you will. I didn't think that was the way most people should go um, because they end up just carrying a bunch of stuff, dropping stuff, not necessarily knowing what to do when the easier thing would have been just buy a 
point and shoot camera buying a DSLR or what have you. But, you know, that's just my two cents. I don't have any um, real judgment, if you will, towards people that decide to go and use things like moments or use things like um, black eye lenses and their additional lenses. This week's episode of Hands On Photography is brought to you by Eight Sleep. Listen, y'all, good sleep is the ultimate game changer and the pod cover is the ultimate sleep machine. You got to get consistent sleep every single day. Why? Because good sleep can really help with serious health issues, uh, such as decreasing the, the issues with heart disease and de- decreasing uh, your, your issues with blood pressure, you know, and can even help reduce the risk of Alzheimer's. Seriously, get your sleep, y'all get good sleep. Now, do you struggle to fall asleep and or do you even wake up in the middle of the night or you argue with your partner over the thermostat because it's too daggum hot or too daggum cold while you're trying to sleep? <laughs> the eight sleep pod cover works hard all night long to improve your sleep. So you do not have to worry about it. It's so good. Okay, let me give you some real talk. You know, about a year and a half ago, Mr. Micah Sargent and I was talking about my sleep habits. And I got to a point where I was finally getting my sleep dialed in after many years of just averaging about four or five hours a night, which is horrible. Um, But now I've been sleeping with the pod cover and holy moly, it's such a big difference. You never see me yawning. You never hear me fussing about being tired. I feel great. And as a matter of fact, I just recently got a perfect score in my sleep the other night. That's just, oh, it's so good. So trust me, you got to get good sleep and you will feel the difference. Your body is going to thank you. The pod cover, it fits on any mattress and it allows you to adjust the temperature of it while you're sleeping. And uh, it doesn't even matter the environment that your room is in. If you have a warm room, the bed is going to cool down. If you have a cool room, the bed is going to warm up. It's so good. It has dual zones for temperature control. So if you're sleeping on one side of the bed and your partner's on the other side of the bed, you don't have to have the same consistent temperatures. It could be whatever they want versus whatever you want. As warm as you want, like 110 degrees Fahrenheit or as cool as 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's basing on your biometrics and your environment and your sleep stages. The pod cover makes temperature adjustments throughout the night that limit wake ups. And it also increase your percentage of deep sleep because you got a bunch of different cycles. You got REM, you got deep sleep, you have light sleep. And you have the time you're awake. It's a couple of different cycles that happen throughout the night. In addition to its best in class temperature regulation, The pod cover has sensors that also track your health and sleep metrics without the need of any use of uh, wearable devices. Yeah, I know some of you wear Apple watches. You can still wear it if you want to, but you don't need it. This is going to cover all of the metrics for you. Just sleeping in your bed like you normally would. (laughs) Better sleep is the health habit you'll love sticking to night after night. Wake up fully energized with the pod cover so you can tackle whatever life throws at you. Just like me. (laughs) <laughs> go to eight sleep.com slash twit and save $150 at checkout on the pod cover. Eight sleep currently ships within the USA, Canada, the UK, and select countries in the EU and Australia. That is eight sleep.com slash twit. Hey, thank you so much for the support eight sleep. Make sure y'all check them out and uh, make sure you use slash twit. Now, the next thing that he shared in there was uh, it's called shift cam, shift cam. And uh, now this here is from shift cam and it's the pro grip. And as they say here on the website, feel like a pro shoot like a pro. And what this device is, is literally a sleeve or a bit of a holster, if you will, for your smartphone. And it has an additional grip that goes along the side of it. And if you're holding your camera in a bit of a landscape mode, you'll have a grip on the side of your, your phones as if you're holding a DSLR or a mirrorless camera body. Looks pretty cool. Seems to be some pretty interesting tech. Uh, but again, I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is something for everybody. Uh, if diving into it, everything looks fine. You know, I love the way it has the grip design on it and, and 
it feels just like a regular camera. It actually has a shutter button and the way it connects to your phone. It's just seamless. Great. And even has batteries to help keep things charged up. Beautiful piece of technology. But is this for everybody? I don't know. I wonder what the actual cutoff line is for the person that is going to buy this piece of tech versus buying another inexpensive mirrorless camera body, because there's plenty of them out there now. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying, well, cameras are expensive. Okay. And cameras are expensive. I get that. You don't necessarily have to buy the latest and greatest camera body folks, because a lot of those older camera bodies are still quite capable. Heck, just recently I spoke about shooting lightning photography on a camera that's probably 10 years old <laughs> at this point. That camera will still work. It's not the latest and greatest, but it will still work. So I wonder what is the actual cutoff line when someone wants to use something like this here? Um, from shift cam versus just going on and just buying another piece of tech as in a real camera body. I'm not going to knock shift cam on this. I would try it out and play with it, but I don't know if this is something that I would invest in and keep for myself because I have, I have plenty of other gear. Uh, I believe this is at the time of recording this thing listed like $149. Yeah. $149.99 listed here on their website. And they got a bunch of different reviews on here. It, it's again, very, very nice industrial design, helpful for keeping things stabilized, whether you're shooting in landscape mode or shooting in portrait mode, because everything is going to portrait mode now on social media. And yeah, y'all have at it. That's just not <laughs> how I roll. But yeah, I thought that was quite fascinating to see. But you know, the thing is, that's not necessarily my jam if you will. So what about you? Is that something that you all would be interested in? Uh, let me know. Just shoot me a message, hop at twit.tv and tell me, you know, I would love to buy some extra gear like that and put it on my, on my camera, uh, on my camera phone, if you will, to take better photographs. And again, I'm going to warn people that yes, you can buy that extra gear, but still know that you, you have some limitations with your smartphone camera. Uh, it'll, it'll help you be more stable with the shot and, 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 you know, frame things up a little bit easier, but your image quality as far as the resolution and things like that, that's not going to change. Okay. And if you want to put in a, a lens attachment on your camera, it's going to look a little bit better. It's going to look a little bit sharper. Um, but still it's a smartphone, uh, image sensor. And it's only capable of so much. So, yeah, just let me know your thoughts. I um, it's not a buy for me <laughs> and it's not necessarily something that I'm going to recommend right out the gate. Shift cam, if you guys want me to try it out and let me, you know, put my money where my mouth is. Sure, I, I will. I will take a look at this thing and and give you a straight up review if you want. But, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to go out here and just buy this thing right now. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Thank you for everybody that continues to send comments, feedback, questions, and so forth via email, hop at twit.tv or over on the social media channels. Check out our website, twit.tv slash H-O-P. That's twit.tv slash H-O-P for hands-on photography. You'll see all of our subscription options there available to you on Apple Podcasts or whatever your favorite podcatcher of choice is. And we're also available on YouTube so you can subscribe and like and do all that magical stuff on YouTube as well. All uh, right. Thank you, Mr. Victor, for making me look and sound good each and every week. Thank you to our loyal Club Twit listeners for continuing to support the show. It really does mean a lot. All right, everybody, safely create and dominate. And I'll catch you next time. Listeners of this program get an ad-free version if they're members of Club Twit. $7 a month gives you ad-free versions of all of our shows, plus membership in the Club Twit Discord, a great clubhouse for Twit listeners. And finally, the Twit Plus feed with shows like Stacy's Book Club, The Untitled Linux Show, The Giz Fizz, and more. Go to twit.tv slash club twit. And thanks for your support.